Alright guys, <laughs> we're back after that interruption. The game crashed again after it originally crashed, and I was booting it back up. And uh, unfortunately, a bit of a breaking news, this is going to be our impromptu main event. As it turns out, Ryan Kent, Robert Cross, Chris Diamond, and Josh Wolf all missed their flights. And so that tag team match is actually going to take place tomorrow on Supremacy. A bit of an inter-promotional matchup, if you will. So, if you were looking forward to that tonight, I apologize, but we're still going to get it just tomorrow. It do be like that sometimes, and we've still got this great match to look forward to as Adam Richards takes on Ace Reeves to close out Crossfire Episode 3. And, of course, as I was saying before, before I was so rudely interrupted by 2K20 itself, a very special Guest at ringside, indeed, the CMV Global Champion himself. Hayden, the first time we're seeing him, in fact, since he won the championship on the debut edition of Crossfire two weeks ago. A last-second replacement for Randy Borton, the man who was originally supposed to face Ace Reeves to crown the new champion. But Randy Borton, earlier in the show, taken out viciously by Adam Richards in the ring for all to see. And so Ken Donahue scrambling somehow, some way. Hayden was in the same town and answered the call. Defeating Ace Reeves to become the new global champion. And subsequently, these last couple of weeks have not been going so well for Ace Reeves. He came so close to becoming world champion again and to have it taken from him. So, <laughs> well, mercilessly, I guess you could say has had him uh, put into a bit of a slump last week being knocked off by the seven foot tall, 500 pound returning Russian ogre, Guri Sukhanov, but he hopes to start climbing it back up to the top here tonight with this victory over Adam Richards, but the added pressure of Hayden watching from ringside. And look at that, the two bumping shoulders. I think Ace Reeves, like a lot of us, is starting to smell the, uh, the conspiracy in the air. There's been a lot of talk amongst the CMB universe and even superstars backstage about how convenient it was for Hayden to have been in that same town at the exact time that Randy Borton was injured. A replacement was needed. Hayden able to ride in and win his sixth record-setting world championship. Originally, Ace Reeves was ecstatic to share the ring with Hayden. Even if it was on an hour's notice, he'd been preparing for months to face Randy Borton. But now, slowly, Ace Reeves is beginning to realize that it's it's all a bit too uh, a bit too fishy. Now, with Hayden's presence during this match, seemingly cheering on Adam Richards, that. That idea only grows stronger. But somehow Ace Reeves has got to focus Adam Richards, the self-proclaimed sex machine, says that he did what he did to Randy Borton two weeks ago because he felt shafted. He beat Borton clean one-on-one -on -one at shakeup, yet Borton was chosen over him for the world championship match against Ace Reeves. Adam Richards said if he's not going to be seen as the talent he believes he is world championship caliber and he's going to have to eliminate the competition one by one starting with Borton. That was very impressive by Ace Reeves teleporting into the ring to hit that drop kick through the ropes. I mean, where have you ever seen that before? Adam Richards throwing. Damn near clipping the barricade on his way. We all know that Hayden, ever since, well, I mean, last year, spent the better part of the previous season coming up on the short end. Most recently, out of sentence, the grandest stage of them all, being bested by Dante Tatum. Kind of went silent for a few months, only to emerge two weeks ago and accomplish a goal that well, he's had on his mind for over three years. Hayden, a part of the inaugural tournament to crown a global champion, was defeated by Aaron White. 
Not only that, but breaking his long-standing tie with fellow X-Gen brother Paul Devine. Now a six-time world champion, Adam Richards, though, sharing the ring with the former NGW champion right now. May have him dead to rights after that brain buster down out of the knee, but only a one count. Adam Richards can't seem to believe it. Counters Alex Whip Richards on the apron as Ace Reeves scouts him out. DDT on the apron and a celebratory backflip. Only Ace Reeves, man. One of the absolute best. And everybody had him slated to become the new global champion, overcoming one of the absolute best in CMB history. And Randy Borton, it was going to be a, a show stealer, a match to remember. But that all changed thanks to Adam Richards and Hayden. Last season, Ace Reeves kind of exploded out of nowhere at NGW, instantaneously garnering the affection of the CMB universe. Winning Magnificent Six, cashing in to become world champion. And just as he got a taste of what it's like to be the man, he had a very unceremonious drop back down to the bottom, but not a man to quit. Picked himself up, dusted himself off, busted his ass. Had the match of the year at the season finale, Battle Scars 5 with Stefan Hastings and Jason Spade and was hand-picked by Ken Donahue to be the future of Crossfire. One of the top draft picks of Ken Donahue, for good reason. But fate threw him a curveball. Ace Reeves, just as he did last season, prepared to work his way back to the top. Sunset Flip powerbomb shades of his good, uh, good friend and one of his best opponents in Dante Tatum. Goes for the cutter then, Adam Richards keeping him at bay. Schoolboy? No, he's gonna kip up, and it ends a jury. A sharp kick, nearly taking Adam's head off. I don't even know if he's uh, aware of where he is right now. Oh, and that is the danger zone. Adam Richards had no idea. Perfect positioning. Vintage Ace Reeves with a DDT from the top rope. One, two, three, and Ace Reeves gets the victory. A victory that's going to mean a whole lot for the gravity manipulator. This was must win for Ace Reeves. And in front of Hayden, no less. He knew he had to win this match. He brought that A game that he's known for. Look at that. Bam! Busting Adam Richards open as well. Sending him off to the back with a nice gash down his forehead. Whether or not there's any validity to the conspiracy theory swirling around the sea of universe right now doesn't really matter because Ace Reeves just proved he deserves another shot at Hayden and that global championship. Well, guys, as always, thank you for tuning in and watching along with me. If you like what you saw, make sure you uh, drop a follow if you're new. And again, sorry about the main event. It do be like that sometimes, scheduling issues. But tomorrow on Supremacy, it will happen. Ryan Kent and Robert Cross versus the team of Chris Diamond and Josh Wolf. A bit of cross-brand warfare, if you will. But until then, I'm going to do my very best not to... Just take my Xbox and chuck it out the window. I hope you have a, uh, a better Thursday night, and I'll see you.
when I see you. Bye.